Hey everyone, I'm Tara from Beaver Vineyards, and today we're going to do a farm tour. I figured since I'm pretty new to YouTube, I would show you guys around the farm. In 2015, I moved back to farm with my dad. My dad mainly grows grain crops, corn, alfalfa, and triticale. When I first moved here, he grew about 800 acres of corn, maybe 50 acres of alfalfa, and no triticale at the time. Um, we're trying to get my dad slowly closer to retirement, if that's a thing for farmers. So. As his leases have gone up, my cousin's taken him over, which has worked out really nice. So his 50 acres of alfalfa is now my 50 acres of Sauvignon Blanc wine grapes. We have about 200 acres of corn. He did plant a lot more alfalfa, and we also have some triticale this year. So I'm going to show you guys around. Hi, Kevin. What are you doing? Farm greeter. Farm greeter number two. Outfit change because, well, it's really hot today. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is the vineyard. The vineyard is around my parents' house. Um, pretty much everything we farm is within like a five mile radius. We stay really close to home, makes it a lot easier when you have to move tractors when you're close to home. Here's my parents' house. Vineyard's right back there. I also think I gave my parents a pretty sweet backyard. I don't think they're complaining about it. Well, my dad likes to complain about my weed situation, but eventually he's not gonna complain about it. Eventually. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Beaver Vineyards, planted in 2018. Isn't it beautiful? My dream right here. So this vineyard was planted two days after AJ and my wedding in April of 2018. And it's amazing. Last year, the vineyard just grew, grew, grew. We just let it go wild. Over the winter, we pruned it. And we pruned it a lot. Back to little tiny sticks, which was terrifying. But that's what everyone said to do. And I'd say they were right because now they're exploding again. And actually next week we're gonna be training them across the cross arms and down the wires. My mom really wanted to plant roses. So she got a few started and I'm trying not to kill them when I spray weeds. But she's got some good ones started. Look how beautiful this one is. Now, let's go to my dad's ranch. Here's our alfalfa, one of our alfalfa fields. As you can see, it needs to be irrigated. We just recently had it cut and baled. We do not cut and bale our own alfalfa. It's just more equipment. We don't have enough acreage to really justify it, but I enjoy alfalfa. It's pretty easy to maintain. We irrigate it with siphon pipes, which is a great workout. Looks pretty good. It just really needs to be irrigated since we just did the first uh, cut and bale of the year. There's our stack over there. As Jay Hill would call it, blocks of cheddar. On to the next adventure. Triticale. Our triticale. 
was really looking great this year. But unfortunately, we had some really late rain followed by some really terrible wind that knocked down a lot of our triticale. So that's going to hurt a little bit when we harvest it. This isn't our only field though. This one I think just got hit the worst by the rain and wind. Other than that, I think it's looking really good. Only one crop left, corn. There it is. You know, there used to be a saying, knee high by the 4th of July. I don't think we're gonna get there, guys. We normally plant corn, we normally start planting corn around April 15th. This year, we did not start till May 30th, and this was the first field we planted. It looks great, but it's not gonna be knee high by the 4th of July. If you can tell, it's about a couple feet. One foot, one and a half. I don't think we're gonna have to irrigate any corn this year, which is great. I mean, I'm gonna miss out on a lot of workouts because irrigating corn definitely sheds some pounds during the summer, but it's looking good. I'm glad we got it in the ground. That was definitely a stressful time of year. It just wouldn't stop raining, but you know, we used to be in a drought, so it's like, can we really complain about having rain? But with our high water table, it definitely makes it a little bit more difficult. As I was driving over here, um, there was actually some water in the road and it hasn't rained in a while. So that just shows you. Anyways, let's go talk about some other things. Something important to know about where we farm, we farm in the Sacramento River Delta on islands. So we actually live on an island called Grand Island. The average field size could be 50 to 60 acres. They're pretty small compared to places in the Midwest that have hundreds and hundreds of acres as one field possibly. Um, we have a ton of ditches. The water table is really high so some crops really don't do well in that some crops do great some people from the outside of you know our area think that our dirt will grow anything so that's pretty good we have very fertile dirt Thank you.